what's up guys what do you do after you have started after you've bought the pack after you've made the commitment now there's a lot of people who think that you know just by buying something or whatever that they've, they've actually done something meanwhile you know this is when the work actually just starts this is when the work starts for you this is when the work starts for us in helping you get where you need to go in your health goals now we like to hedge our bets and we like to start people off on a bigger protocol meaning a bigger package of product that costs more money because the money is attached to the commitment it's not necessarily you know all the way but the more money you put down the more the commitment is even having said that guys i've sold a lot of product to people either a pack that costs 500 850 dollars or whatever and they still you know they don't take the product or whatever before we sold packs, we we sold bundles of products, especially if you listen to Dr. Wallach, he'll be like, you need three of these packs and this extra product and this extra product. I've seen people put down $1,000 or more and not actually take those products. Now, part of that can be, it can be intimidating, right? And a lot of people, you know, think, some people think that by putting down a lot of money, they don't want to waste it, right? So if they're unsure about how to get started, they might not take it at all. And especially part of that is the, is the liver detox, the 30 day liver detox, which we consider you know, critical to actually being able to absorb the products in this modern world. We used to sell just product without doing a liver detox and now we do the liver detox whenever possible because again, it increases the chances that you're going to actually absorb the product. But a lot of people will put that off because they'll be afraid of it. Maybe it's too intense, you know, maybe, maybe I'm gonna be stuck in a bathroom for a week or something, it's not like that, right? And it needs to be done. Now, there's some people who buy the pack and they open it and they just start digging into the product and that's that's great as well. You just have to understand that there is more to it than just taking the product and so I guess this is why we're having this conversation. Now, first of all, you do want to start taking the product. Second of all, you do want to be in contact with us. It, it is complicated and we want to make sure that you maximize your benefit regardless, right? And if something's if something's not right, you know, and maybe, there's, maybe there's a reaction you need to talk about, you know, there's all kinds of things that can happen, especially guys, keep in mind, most of the people that are starting this are over 18 years old. I mean, they've got over 18 years of damage in their body. They've got stones in their liver. They've got parasites potentially. Part of the reason why we do the liver detox. But they've got old problems to fix, right? And so part of this is that some people want to skimp on the products. And Dr. Wallach recommends quite a large dose. And it's partially because the quantity is extremely important. Some people can experience rid ridiculously miraculous benefits just off taking a little bit of product, but we don't recommend doing that. We don't recommend taking the chance. There's also a lot of people who will take the product for 30 days or something and, and think that's it. Meanwhile, some people don't get a you know serious benefit until their body becomes fully used to this, until they clear out the old toxins, until they start to absorb it, right? So it all does go together. And this is why we do, we ask for a serious commitment and it's not just money, it's not just product. We ask for you to commit your time as well to learning this, to asking the questions that need to be asked, especially if there's an uncomfortable question, right? Maybe you get a reaction that you didn't expect and you might be uncomfortable in asking us about it. Meanwhile, our job is to fix problems, right? And if we don't know about a problem, we can't guide you through it. And confidence is a lot of this too, right? This is, the body can go through a lot of weird changes when you start doing things differently. Especially if you take our advice, you start adding salt in. Some people can do a salt flush that we recommend. Get a, get a very, you know, serious negative immediate reaction to it. And I don't mean put them in the hospital. I mean, it might send them to the toilet. I mean, it might send them, uh, you might get a severe headache. You might get a pain show up somewhere. This isn't to say the salt is bad. It's to say the body's doing something about it. One example is if you, if you bash your knee on something, it's gonna get inflamed. If you're healthy, if you're working properly to some degree, it's gonna get inflamed. This is the, the reaction the body's supposed to have. The body's putting blood to that area. It's telling you not to use that. Don't, don't stress this area more, let me heal it. And it's bringing blood there because all the good stuff that can heal you is in the blood, right? Now, a lot of people are low on that stuff, that's the nutrients, that's why we wanna top you up on the nutrients so your blood can deliver. It's also partially why we recommend the frequency tuning disc bracelets and why we throw them in the Ryan Pack and the Aaron Pack. Because if you're affected by radiation, most of us communicate on the phone here, it's how we sold you probably, that's impacting your blood. All those nutrients are carried around by your blood. Oxygen's carried around by your blood. Toxins are, you know, pushed out through your blood. 
the blood's the most important organ. All of this has to go together, guys, right? So, what do you do when you start your pack? First of all, the doses is involved. We want you to contact us and we'll send you a, a little sheet on it. That in the future, I'll have these things printed out and maybe you're watching this video in the future and you've gotten a printout of the Ryan pack or whatever in your pack. I'm just behind on that. But you can do the math on this too. Now the scoops for the Tangy Tangerine, which is our standard vitamin product, you might have gotten another product. If it's a liquid, then it's one ounce instead of two scoops. And that's per 100 pounds of body weight. And Dr. Wallach designed this like you design animal food per 100 pounds of body weight. So not for animals, it's based on body weight. So the two scoops, that's per 100 pounds of body weight per day. Now you don't need to do two scoops at once. Two scoops at once can be very strong for somebody. By the way, this is another thing, taste. Somebody could do the dose, say, wow, that tastes too strong, or I don't like that taste, and then not take it. You might, you have to take it to get the result, right? And, and it seems crazy, it seems kindergarten to say that, but again, a lot of people are like, yeah, I bought the pack. Yeah, I take the 90, but I'm not getting the result. Meanwhile, they're, I'm like, well, how much did you take? Are you taking it every day? Have you taken it for 90 days? Have you, do, have you done the other things? Have you done the salt? Have you, you know, cut the foods out? What are you doing? And there's a lot of people that are just severely underdosing, taking it every few days, right? And it's because of these problems, right? So if it's too strong, don't take it like that. If if you take the do if you take any dose of the tangy tangerine powder, first of all, and, and your your urine is neon, it does say that you're not absorbing it all. It doesn't mean don't take it. It means you need to take it to be able to absorb it. You need to increase your absorption. Maybe you need to up your salt. Maybe you need to do the liver detox. Maybe you need to ease yourself into a dose. We do often recommend, or we generally standardly recommend, that people take a smaller dose at first because their body's not going to absorb it all right away, right? So you can do, I, by the way, guys, I do half a scoop at a time sometimes, one scoop at a time sometimes. You know, I almost never do two scoops at a time. It is very strong, and I actually want to give it to myself throughout the day so that I can increase the absorption. Same with the osteo effects. The osteo effects is, one scoop per 100 pounds, that's the dose, per day, every day, for 90 days at least, right? And that, that, that's just, guys, again, to hedge our bets, we want you to give us at least 90 days to, to see, you know, what your body can do with this stuff. And there's a lot of people who drop out after 30 days. It's just not enough. Some people it is. I, I was cured miraculously all my health problems in six days flat. It doesn't mean I was at 100%, but it means that I was out of pain. It means that I could sleep means that I stop twitching and shaking, right? These are life-changing benefits. For things like chronic headaches, chronic stomach aches, they could be just as fast and they could be they could take 90 days, right? It's very rare that it will take longer than that for any health problem, truthfully, to, for your body to use the nutrients to get the benefit. And the, by the way, the body knows what to do, right? We just, we need to make sure that we're doing it seriously and following through the follow through is extremely important so the osteo effects is the same thing if it's too do if you weigh 200 pounds you know it's going to be one or two scoops per 100 pounds by the way and i say that because you know the labels are not quite clear and if you buy the if you get the sample packs there's two scoops in them and if you get the the canister it's basically you know you know say two scoops is the dose but it's one or two per 100 pounds and you can fully go two scoops very easily per 100 pounds, especially at first. I like to take this throughout the day again, you know. We used to tell people purely to take it at night or take it with dinner, but it's whatever works best for you. I like to take it around midday. I like to mix a bit of it with tangy tangerine, and I like to drink it quickly because I don't like to let it sit. That product particularly doesn't sit very well. By the way, a shaker cup works very well for that product. Uh, just mixing it in, in water isn't really the greatest. A water bottle works a little bit better, but a shaker cup is kind of the way to go with that. Or a blender, you can blend it into a smoothie if that's your lifestyle, if you have that time. Some people want to take the nutrients in the morning. I do recommend taking tangy tangerine first in the morning. If you're a coffee drinker, I still recommend breaking that habit of having coffee first thing in the morning, especially if you're sick, if you have a health problem, maybe go back to that later. But if you start your day with tangy tangerine, it really is much better. I like to do that. I like to do water, water with salt in it first, just fill my some stomach with my water. The first thing, second thing, tangy tangerine, third thing, coffee. This is in an optimal situation. Sometimes when I'm on the road, I'm gonna have the coffee first, and I'm gonna have the tangy tangerine second, water first before that. 
again, it does depend on your lifestyle. Getting it in is more important than anything. So we know that coffee actually increases the rate that your body uses minerals, dehydrates itself, right? And a lot of people, again, will be like, well, I drank coffee, so I'm not gonna drink my nutrients. It's wrong, you gotta, you gotta do, if you drink coffee, you still gotta take your nutrients, right? Maybe you should minimize your coffee. I do try and keep the coffee away from it as much as possible, but truthfully, I just take more now. You know, back when I was broke, I, I would really worry more about it because I would really only be doing my two scoops, you know, skimping it or whatever. And again, this is something that you might be able to do in the future, depending on you. We're not telling you to, to skimp on your nutrients. We're telling you at first to take it as seriously as you can and then figure out what works best for you. By the way, if you, if you can't afford the nutrients, we don't talk about it much, but you can distribute the product. It doesn't mean really selling it. It means you can actually influence people and if you do the sales pitch seriously, you keep your foot down and you say, mom, this is, this is what your body needs. This is the best way to get started on the mega pack or equivalent to get the full results with the full commitment. And if you get people to commit properly, you'll be compensated for it properly, right? And it's usually even just one person a month. And we're not, again, I don't care if you don't do the business, but if you can't afford it, it's a good way to get your nutrients for free. For me, pretty much every month, that I've done this since I started. I got my nutrients for free. There was only a few months that I was a little bit under, like say I made 150 and I spent $175 on my on my monthly thing or whatever. Still, it goes a, it goes a super, super long way. And it's it's been a long time since I've had anything under what I need, right? Which means I have extra. And having extra, it, it's the easiest way not to skimp on it. You know, you've got enough to go around for yourself. By the way, I don't really advise sharing it. There's some people who, who bought enough and they know that they have enough money or whatever to buy some for their family. But truthfully, a lot of us, most of us in this business have given product to people, especially those who really need it. And if they don't make the commitment, they're not gonna take it properly. They might not take it at all. They might not take it seriously. And it can really be heartbreaking, right? So if you have people around you that are sick and you want to help them, the best way to do it is to get as healthy as you can first and influence them rather than giving them product or sharing them product. And, and when you share product with people, it actually, it dilutes the value of the product, right? Especially giving it away for free. Where's the value in it to the person? Rarely have I seen it actually work in terms of the person being like, okay, I'm going to take this seriously. You know, I'm going I'm to squeeze the benefit out of this and I'm going to rebuy my own product. It really doesn't work that way. And it's, it, it's quite an eye-opening thing, too, when somebody's like, hey, what is that? Can I try some? And you're like, no, this is too valuable. And if you want to experience the health benefit that I'm experiencing, you have to make the same commitment I made. It's, it's, it's a strong statement, and it, it will make the people around you kind of ask twice about it rather than you pandering to them and being like, please take this product. You know, it's not effective. So, the Tangy Tangerine, you got the Osteo. Those are, those are the two kind of keystone fundamentals for the 90 essential nutrients. The next is the essential fatty acids. Now this is actually something you can get a bit from food, right, if you do it properly, depending on your circumstance, depending on where you live in the world. Now in our world, we have an abundance of omega-6s. This is why we like to go heavy on the omega-3s, and if you bought a Ryan Pack or Aaron Pack, it's got extra pro-hobo omegas, which are, they're, they're omega-3s. Now Dr. Wallach's standard is the EFA+, plus, which is 3, 6, and 9. So we do recommend taking that. That's The dose is three per day per 100 pounds. And by the way, any of the capsules, you can do the math on it. The EFA Plus has 90 capsules in it. They're all designed for 30 days for 100 pounds of body weight. Right? And again, that sounds like a lot. Well, it is. It costs a lot. It's a strong dose of all these things. But it's the proper dose and it's the proper way to do it if you want the proper results. If you want to skimp before you make enough money to pay for it at its full dose, Get healthy first and then and then think about skipping. Right? I, have, I myself, I have skimped on all these products before. And it sucks, but it, I'd rather take half a dose than no dose kind of thing, right? And each time I've taken it more seriously to make more money, either with this business or with another business, to be able to afford the nutrients because your health is the most important thing. And it'll allow you to do your business or do your job or do your, your work or your school better anyways, right? And again, if you're a shining example of health, people will come to you for advice. They'll be like, well, how, how do you do this? I see you with this little orange drink, what's up? You know, as long as they know it's not just an orange drink, there's a large commitment behind it in order to do it properly. Again, part of this is the food as well, and we'll talk about that. But guys, any of the capsules, you do the math, right? If there's 120 capsules in it, the dose is four per, for, 
four per day per 100 pounds. The capsules are best taken with meals. If you eat two meals a day, split it up into two. If you eat three meals a day, split it up into three if you like. If you eat one meal a day, you can take them all at once. I do tend to split it up into two doses and I have gone on to the two meal a day kind of standard. But even if I eat one meal, I'm gonna try and take the capsules in two doses. Getting them in the body is more important than when you take them. Again, there's a lot of people who will do a lot of research and they'll be like, okay, well, it's not best to do this at this time, whatever, get them in the body. You'll find out how to optimize yourself as you go forward. Because again, we are asking for a 90 day commitment. That doesn't mean you're in it for 90 days. It means you're in it for life. This is food, right? Once, once you feel the difference, anybody who's gone off, who's felt the difference and then gone off of it, they feel the difference, they feel the going down, right? So you don't want to, once you reach 100%, you don't want to go back down to 90%. There's no point in doing that. So the supplements is part of it. Paying for it is part of it. The business is a potential aspect of doing it. Paying for the products will help you with that too. We'll help you with anything as much as we can. And it goes for the food stuff too, guys. The world is changing. There's a lot more gluten-free options around, but most of the gluten-free options are crap. And a lot of us will make certain sacrifices sometimes. We'll be like, okay, this doesn't have any of the bad foods, but it's got a little bit of oil in it. It's not that we're not worried about it. It's just that we're hungry, right? So the, the better you get at this, the better you will be able to go without food for long enough to get to a safe source, you know? And the less you'll splurge on these kind of like gluten-free cookies and stuff, which again, they're usually crap. But that's the first step, right? If you're eating cookies all the time, you got a sugar addiction, we do advise you to break it. But if you can't, again, like right away, if you can't quit smoking right away, you, you can cut down, right? You can, you can change the sources. You could eat the gluten-free cookies at first, find ways to do it better, find the mindset to do it better. By the way, you know, one way to do this is to get more, it's to learn more actually. If you're, if you're not serious about gluten-free, YouTube gluten and, you know, wheat belly and how to live gluten-free or why, whatever, do some, do some homework and you'll, you'll be much more likely to take it more seriously very quickly. Same with the oil. If you really do understand how bad it is and how bad deep fried food is and you can extrapolate that onto the oils themselves, you'll get more serious about avoiding it. And you will feel better once you do avoid all this stuff, all these toxins. It's not just the 12 bad foods, right? It goes further. We don't recommend eating peanuts, for example, because they're covered in bread mold. That's one of the ones that Dr. Wallach is against. And dairy as well is something that we don't talk about very much, but people can get a similar reaction to a gluten intolerance from dairy very commonly, especially low quality dairy, grain fed dairy, right? Gluten fed fed dairy, it comes through the milk. So you can get your gluten intolerance symptoms from drinking milk. Some people don't do well with dairy at all, right? I've had some severe reactions to dairy and I've limited my intake of it and I've felt the difference, I've felt the benefit. And this is not to say that dairy itself is bad, it's saying that there's ways that we can manufacture it certainly that, that is better. So as we do this, by the way, a lot of, a lot of people will avoid taking responsibility about the bad foods because of social reasons. I'll be like, okay, well, I'm going out for dinner or, you know, it's, it's somebody's birthday, I'll eat the cake. And they, they don't want to, they don't want to seem like rude, you know, saying no thank you to the cake, right? Meanwhile, I like to think of it like alcohol or drugs or cigarettes, right? Most people don't smoke. And if someone offers you a cupcake, you might as well just look at it as a cigarette and say, I don't, I don't, I don't do that, right? You wouldn't feel bad about saying no thank you to a cigarette. You should not feel bad about saying no thank you to a cupcake. You can learn to do it politely. You don't have to offend anybody. Some people will be offended either way, right? It, it, you can't really help that. A lot of people are like, well, my family is whatever. My family's Portuguese. My family's Italian. My family is Polish and they all eat gluten. It's your responsibility. It's not your family's responsibility. And I don't know what that means. Right? It might mean that you have to have a serious conversation about that and, and not let them bully you into eating whatever it is that they make, even if it used to be your favorite food. I used to love butter tarts, you know? Whatever. Can't eat them. Maybe they'll come up with a gluten-free one that doesn't have oil and doesn't kill me and I can indulge in that on occasion. But when we understand that these things are hurting us and we understand that it's our goal to be as healthy as possible, you know, fundamentally, 
and we will avoid these things, right? Again, most of the people won't smoke crack or, or do something that's overtly bad for them, you know? You won't put your hand on a stove. Meanwhile, these other things are just as bad. So going into detail on the food here, because a lot of this is social, really. I mean, once you make the commitment to do it, most of what I see people falling off on is, again, the dinners, the birthdays, the girlfriends, the, the whatever. And it's just being strong and firm. And the more of us that there are on this, the more influence we have on the world, right? Every time I go into a restaurant, first question, is this water from the tap? Oh, yes. Would it be rude if I went to my car and got the distilled water out or went next door and bought some distilled water? The waiter or waitress is going to say, of course it's not rude, right? But they're going to think about it. They might go home and talk about it. They might bring it up to the manager and say, yo, people don't really like this tap water. Even though we got it in a nice fancy glass, you know, that's cold and it's got sweat beads going down and it looks appealing it's tap water and people don't want it it's very cost effective for a, a business to put a water filter in it's, it's quite cheap actually to put a water filter in your house so a reverse osmosis system or something like that these are easy easy changes to make but they don't they don't happen unless you speak up about it same with salt is this real salt no okay well i bring a salt shaker with me i got some salt here you know, actually have a salt shaker and some extra salt here. It's because half of the restaurants you go into don't use real salt. Now, if they don't have real salt on the table, they're probably not using it in the kitchen. If they're serving you tap water to drink, they're probably cooking the food in tap water. It's, you know, you want to avoid the soups and stuff. I like to go for the, the most basic ingredients. And by the way, even if you don't eat meat, going to a steakhouse usually is one of the one of the ways to actually get kind of whole foods. You can just ask for, you know, a plate of steamed vegetables or whatever, and put butter on it. Again, if they don't have real butter, whether it's a coffee shop or a restaurant, I don't go back. If they don't have real butter to give you, they don't have real butter in the kitchen. It means they cook their stuff in margarine, right? Which is hydrogenated vegetable oil, which according to us is poison. So I don't, and I like to put butter in my coffee. And again, if, if the coffee shop doesn't have it, I like to make a deal about it. not not being rude about it just saying oh i would really, would really like butter in my coffee this is becoming more and more popular with the, with the keto diet and all this kind of stuff too right so this is how we influence things we do have to avoid them for now but businesses will talk right families will talk if your family supports you they will support your diet as well even if they think it's just a fad and they make fun of you for it whatever you know they'll see the benefits in you eventually especially if you came to us with a health problem whether they take it seriously or not, they should respect you enough to support you. If you gotta go out and buy your own food, you gotta do that too, rather than complain, you know? And again, a lot of people who actually make the commitment to buy in the pack, they're not really gonna complain that much, but they're also gonna, well, because they already can take responsibility. We got 14 year olds who go and save the 850 bucks for the Ryan pack, right? We don't offer discounts, we tell you to save the money, we tell you to go out and get the money, just like we have to pay for our supplements too, right? So. If you do have to go out and buy your own food, then that's just something you have to do. And it, it can be pretty easy after a while, guys, especially when there's, there's more of us in this together and you realize that this, this lifestyle is not just you. You know, you get a couple friends on board, even with just the food stuff. Now it makes it a ton easier when you can eat together. But you just got to be comfortable with it. You got to understand that, you know, people might say weird things. It might be a little bit inconvenient at first. You might forget to take your nutrients with you. But if you stick to it and you're committed, you're going to get the results. So I guess this was kind of a long-winded thing, but I just felt that we should talk more about what to do after you actually get the pack and understand that this is a, that you're in this for life, right? If you want to be healthy, you're in this for life. The products are going to change. Hopefully the company doesn't change. But we're going to have to get our 90 essential nutrients no matter what, right? We're going to have to eat, we're going to have to avoid the bad foods no matter what. And we're going to have to influence this world to change no matter what. And this is happening. And again, there's more and more gluten-free options out there. The industry wants to give it, give us what we want. It really does. It's there to sell stuff to us. Restaurants are there to sell us food. You know, if we if we say this is the type of food we want when we come here, they might make changes. If they don't, go to another place that is making changes. Maybe you own businesses. Maybe you want to change things within your own business and, and start the influence that way. But it does start with you. It always, always, always starts with you. And don't let other people bully you out of, you know, your food habits or your food choices or anything like that you gotta stand tall and strong you don't have to tell them what to eat you have to say look i'm making these choices for myself so that i can be healthy and somebody might say yeah but that doc, uh, gluten is harmless my doctor said so whatever you can say look it's okay that you believe that i accept your belief 
I accept that and I understand that the medical community doesn't really see a problem with gluten. The medical community doesn't really see a problem with oil. But the medical pro- society, the medical system was not able to help me, right? And that, that's the easy way to do it, is to bring it back to you, right? I'm not trying to convince you, whoever you are. I mean, the person who's, who's like trying to argue with me, and this happens all the time, by the way. People hear you're in the health business, and they say, you know, what do, what's your job? Well, I help people get healthy. And when they hear anything about gluten-free, oil, deep fat, whatever, a lot of people have something to say about it. Yeah, well, everybody's body's different. We all need different things. The point is not to argue with them, right? A lot of people can get turned off this lifestyle or this business because they're stuck arguing with people, and that's just a really, really... It's not a fun thing to do, right? It's not fun for you. It doesn't help them. You're not going to convince them by arguing with them anyways. The easiest way to influence them, if that's what you want to do, or just to get them off your back, right? Parents girlfriend whatever get them off your back you say look I'm doing this for me right I was in pain I don't want to be in pain anymore my doctor wasn't able to help me this account Wallach's Warriors this dude Ryan he's, he said this is the protocol this is Dr. Wallach and you know you don't have to believe it but a lot of people do and a lot of people use this protocol to help themselves you know a lot of people come to us by the way after they've tried everything else it's kind of the bread and butter in our in our business is to sell things to people who have tried everything else because they know what else is out there on the market it's an easy sale when we say look nothing else works you got to fix the body you got to give the body what it needs you got to fix the digestion you got to be serious about it and you got to do this long term and a lot of things if you go to a lot of naturopathic doctors by the way they give you some some herbal stuff they might give you some vitamin d they might give you a b12 injection now most of the people who've been sold on this from us understand that this is a holistic approach we're not just giving the body this and that we're giving it everything that it needs at once we're trying to avoid all the bad stuff at once right we're not just picking and choosing what's the worst you might be gluten intolerant and that might that might solve a lot of your problems just by going gluten free we want you to get off the other bad stuff too we don't want you to die of a heart attack because you're still eating french fries which are gluten free and vegan right we want you to take it seriously we could go even more serious into the household products, right? Not using toxic deodorants or toothpaste, not using the, the spray for breeze stuff or the hairspray or any of these other toxic things that are around us. And by the way, a lot of people with hormone problems, these, these toxins in our environment has a lot to, to, to contribute to our problems, you know? So it's beyond nutrition and we're gonna make a lot more content about being beyond nutrition. But I guess the point of this video is just to fit it into your lifestyle as strongly as possible, as quickly as possible, as firmly as possible, and not letting other people bully you out of it, not letting yourself bully yourself out of it, lose hope, lose faith, right? If you find yourself losing hope or faith, come to us, right? There's a lot of people in this business who will say, oh, you just need more product. It's not always the case. Sometimes it is the case. Uh, we hedge our bets by giving you enough of the 90 essential nutrients where we hope you don't need the, the extra products. We hope you don't need the thyroid support. We hope you don't need the you know, the specific things. And if you want to optimize later, that's phenomenal, right? But usually just the basics is quite enough to do the job. When you run out, get more. Talk to us. We will talk to you about how to get the products, the base products at least, at the lowest possible cost, just like we do. We buy them in bulk in gusset bags. We buy them on auto ship. Auto ship scares the bejesus out of people, but you can turn it off anytime, right? It's not a big deal. I'll route one of my auto ships to you if you want. We'll help you get it is kind of the point because the consistency is key. And if you start and you do 30 days and you lose hope, you lose faith or you run, you know, you, you make excuses for yourself and not coming up with the, enough money to buy at least a dose of the, of the base 90. Remember, you don't have to buy the, the liver detox again. You don't need to buy the bracelet again. You don't need the extras, even though I like extra selenium in my life. I like extra glucogel in my life. I like to do all the extras if I can there's months that I can't I I just want to go back and and wrapping this up and saying that if you can't it is your responsibility to get more right it's your responsibility to feed yourself every day some people maybe they live at their mom's house and your mom feeds you maybe you talk to her about helping you with it I don't I don't know right maybe you take your own food budget your own coffee budget your own marijuana budget or whatever and you take a look at it and you say, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend this money here. I, I've got to, I got to get this 130 bucks for the, you know, my next month pack or whatever. And again, even if you're going to take half of a dose, do it, do half of a dose rather than a full one. Don't get rid of the 90, right? That's the key here. Especially guys, there's some people who get their benefit, get their health benefit 
stop taking the products until they get their health benefit again. I mean, it's, it's insane. We want to do this as a lifestyle. If you do this as a lifestyle, you will be able to influence others. I know that I said you don't have to do the business, but you actually should. It's a moral responsibility to be successful. Once you understand this information, how important it is, and once you see some results from it, not just in yourself, if you have a really serious health problem and you get over it, it's your responsibility to actually help other people. Now, it's a lot of pressure, whatever, fine, I get it. I, I didn't really want to take that responsibility at first either, and I realized how difficult it was to try and convince a lot of people and I also now just realize it's not about convincing, it's about influencing. And you can do this business even on a low level, pay for your stuff, make extra money, make enough money to buy the extra products or whatever. And you can also be ridiculously successful and ridiculously wealthy just from this business alone. Right? I know several people who make over 100 grand a month on this. That's serious, it's serious money. You know, They take it seriously, it's easy to do. I don't mean it's easy as in like it's tomorrow. I mean it's easy to take the steps to better yourself. It's easy to take the steps to learn the information, not just the health information, but learn the sales information, right? Learn the business mindset, learn the success mindset. That will carry you forward. It will allow you to actually do this. And then, by the way, there's a lot of people too, and when you go to these little meetings within the company, there's always one person who's like, I don't want to do the business. But yet, they still want to help their niece, or they still want to help their grandma, or whatever. I say, well, look, how are you gonna help them without doing the business, right? You have to actually enroll them properly. You have to get them the right product, which is the right commitment, or they're not gonna get helped, right? And we said it for a long time too. You know, someone taught me that if you don't want the check, just give it to me. No one's ever given me the check, guys. You know, like it, there's no reason to be bashful about this. Whatever you do in life, and it, especially a lot of smart people, a lot of successful people already, they say, I don't, I don't wanna be a salesperson or whatever. Okay, well, don't be a salesperson then. But you gotta help somebody if you want them to. And if they're asking you for help, there's proper ways to do it. The proper way to do it is not just to sell them Tangy Tangerine, not just to sell them minerals because they say they don't have enough money. And you tell them, Grandma, look, I really love you and I'm concerned about your health. You gotta do this properly if you want the result. And they'll find the money. This is not a cruel thing to say. This is like, you're, they're gonna waste the money if they don't, if they don't do it properly, right? You take a product that doesn't work, you wasted the money if they don't do the proper commitment. They're not gonna get the benefit, they're gonna waste their money. And if they don't, what are they gonna do? Keep their diabetes, right? Keep their arthritis? Now, I grew up in pain, right? This thing is worth everything to me, not being in pain, right? I underpaid for mine. Someone should have sold me a pack and got me started properly because it, you know, it's only by the grace of God that I actually got the, the result after all that time. It took me a long time because I didn't do it properly. There's a lot of people like that too. We don't wanna do that, we don't wanna lose people. In this business, if you do this business long enough, and I mean even just the business of trying to influence people, you'll see people say no and they'll die. It's not a joke, right? This is a life, life or death situation where you'll see people say, no, nah, you know, it costs in Canada, healthcare is free. Oh, it costs me $2 a month for my diabetes drugs. Okay, but then you still have diabetes, right? Managing the symptoms. If somebody, if somebody wants to get out of it, they have to put money down and you deserve your commission for it. And again, once you start helping people, you're gonna start having more demands on you, and you're gonna realize eventually by doing this and by doing the training that it's actually your moral responsibility, moral responsibility to become successful in this business, ridiculously successful in this business, so that you can help more people, right? All the people in my life have been helped, one way or another. Some of them I did it the hard way, I did it the wrong way, that's why we tell people to do it the right way now, right? I've given people product. Some of it failed, some of it didn't. Some of those people are not in my life anymore. Some of them died, right? Some of them aren't my friend anymore because I pushed it on them, right? So you wanna do it correctly. We don't wanna push the people away. We wanna accept the people as they are. My mom still eats whatever she wants, right? She doesn't have osteoporosis concerns anymore because she takes the product. I wish everybody would take it 100% seriously, but at the very least, she's better off now, right? That's the key. She's not experiencing her primary difficulty anymore. That's the key. Maybe, and it sucks to say, but maybe she'll come back when she gets more health problems later and just say, okay, Ryan, I'm finally ready to go gluten-free or whatever, you know? It doesn't matter, she's still in my life, right? We stuck with it. So any benefit that you can get, and if somebody says, look, I'm, you know, I'm, it's not for me, you say, okay, keep the pain, you know? You to be firm and strong on it, guys. We know that we have the, ve the best value proposition on the market, meaning there is nobody else that can claim firmly and strongly to provide the body with literally everything that it needs on a fundamental micronutrient level and the information that goes with it on avoiding the bad foods and fixing your digestion, all that's for free. Nobody else has that proposition. I've seen a hundred people go and more than that, 
go and buy some other product. He said, it's fine, look, it's fine. I love you still. We know that we're asking quite a bit of commitment here. If you're not ready to make that commitment, go ahead and try Isogenics or go ahead and try whatever Herbalife. We'll still be here for you, right? We'll still be here for you if you want the maximum benefit. We'll still be here if you, if you encounter a health problem later on. We'll still help you through it. I'm not gonna hold you against it. I understand that most people don't really buy this when they first hear it, right? Even if it's from Dr. Wallach's mouth. By the way, the first rule of sales is always agree with the customer, always agree with the prospect. It's not to say that they're right. It's just to say that you understand. You do understand that not everybody understands this. We do understand that it's a hard sell, right? Oh, I gotta take these nutrients or I'm gonna die. This specific product, I gotta take this guy's one product or I'm gonna die. Hey, it's a hard sell. It's the best on the market, right? But we're firm about it. And I do find that that firmness and that confidence is kind of the strongest point. And now even that we've taken this tactic, a lot of people that we failed with earlier, years ago, they're now coming to us and, and they're saying, you know what, I, I might be ready to make that commitment one day. And it's because we're asking something realistic, by the way. We used to sell minerals and tangy tangerine and a lot of people don't take that seriously. Like, what do you think? What are you saying? This bottle of minerals is going to change my life? Meanwhile, it makes more sense to say that $500 or $850 or $1,500, that that's actually gonna do something for you, right? So, there's a lot that I've said here, and we could talk more about this, guys, but I just want you guys to be strong and firm out there. I want you guys to know that we're in this for life. We didn't just sell you a product. That's why we sold you a lot of product, is because we didn't want to just wanna sell you a little, little bit and have you go on your way, right? We want you to commit. And we want you to know that that's when the work starts for us, that's when the work starts for you. It's not just as easy as buying a product. It's not even just as easy as putting the product in your mouth. It's a lifestyle that you gotta be serious about. And any questions that you have about it, any problems that you have about it, I want you to feel comfortable reaching out to us because we're in it long term. And that's all I've got to say for now. Love all you, respect all you, salute all you. Hit me up anytime, guys.